Hey, it's Bruce with WeedersDigest.com, and I want to just tell you a couple of cool things going on out on the lake today and show you some examples. So I'm out on the lake. It's mid-March, March 21st, I believe. We're running behind. We've got about 28 inches of ice out there when I drilled a hole. But there's some really cool things going on on the lake. And um, from the, the cool standpoint, uh, it's actually the boringest time on the lake. And so you can just see down my shoreline uh, that this is when everything is, it's either gray ice or brown trees, brown grass, brown everything. So if you're watching this from areas other than Minnesota, this is not a good representation. But one of the things that's going on out there is that with 28 inches of ice, it can support a car vehicles activity easily. It's very safe ice in general. But there's a couple of phenomena that are going on right now. So if, if you look down my neighbor's shoreline there, all that water that was, you know, in the form of snow on their uh, shoreline or that was out on the lake was all snow. And so just uh, probably 10 days ago, we probably had 12 inches of snow out on the lake and that's all melted. So where did it melt to? Well, here's something I wanted to show you. So I've got my aeration system on, my uh, dockside aeration system, and all these bubbles are coming up right through. In fact, you can probably hear it really clear. You can see all the, all the bubbles coming up. And what's going on with that is as the bubbles you know, come, come through, that very same reverse system is happening. So all the snow that was on the shoreline, that was on the lake, is now filtering its way back into the lake through just these little holes that you can see right here. You can just hear it just bubbling up. We've got a couple of bigger bubbles that are coming over here. Um, so I'm, I, as I said, I'm standing on very thick ice but the air that's coming up is weakening the ice around me. And so the reverse is true that the snow as it melted, we had a little bit of rain a couple days ago, all that flows through those, those little holes and those holes become cracks and the cracks then make it unsafe because then it turns into what we call honeycomb ice. I've got other videos. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I make more videos in the next uh, days and weeks as this all disappears. But it's, it's just an interesting phenomenon. Now the reason why I turn on my aeration system is because I actually leave my dock in all year long. Um, I'm able to do that on this lake. I also have my aqua thruster. If you're not familiar with it, you can check that out at aquathruster.com. That's my aqua thruster 360, one of our products. And so I turn my aeration system on this time of the year for a couple of reasons. I definitely get the opportunity to help make sure I save my dock by clearing the ice around it. But the bigger reason is that I want to save the fish. And so as the winter drags on and there's less sunlight getting through, we can run into a, a fish kill situation. And so I just kind of take this upon myself that what I do is I turn on my aeration system. I, at the same time I turn on my aeration system that's putting air underneath the ice, I also turn on my thruster and with the thruster 360, as you can see right there, actually distributes that oxygen or that air that I'm pumping in to go out throughout the lake and help out the fish. And even though that sounds like maybe it, it might seem futile to manage a whole lake from one little spot, it actually is true that it makes a big impact on the, the fish. So um, I've got other videos that talk about fish kills. Uh, we actually have had one where thousands of fish washed up because of not doing something like this and uh, anyway I'll keep you updated but here we are March 21st 28 inches of ice still on the lake I would say that we are looking at a late ice out of I'll throw my prediction out I'd say we're looking at hmm April April 10th I think we'll uh, let's say April 10th we will be ice out and uh, if it's April 10th I hope you water skiing on April 11th so Anyway, take care. Thanks for stopping by and checking out uh, WeedersDigest.com.